What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren if you're new here and oh my god buckle up We have so much to talk about. It's almost midnight. I cannot believe everything that I'm about to talk about today I, I, I just I'm in shock still. Is it four years ago? I cannot believe that we just got this and then tree pain the hero that we didn't all know that we needed Wow, if this is your first time on my channel. Hi, I'm Lauren. Make sure you are subscribed Following me on all of the things because this is a developing story probably most likely. So you're gonna wanna be up to date just like me every second till you know I'll be updating on my Twitter, my Instagram, but wow, where do I start? I just knocked something over with that. <laughs> I actually just filmed my reaction to the full 25 minute audio footage leak and that video will be up on my channel soon. We don't know who it was leaked by. It had to have been someone on Kanye's team because this is very like private footage, someone in his camp that is getting fired, if they're not already fired, right? At this point, I have watched the full audio footage leak of Taylor and Kanye West having that infamous phone conversation, so here are some clips of me watching that now. Job Skype music. Oh my god! Like, you are not Steve Jobs, Tim Cook, Walt Disney. I can't even believe I'm having to say this! Am I taking crazy pills? Am I Mr. Mugatu? What? Delusional has a name. Well, is it gonna be me? Yes! No, I don't think it's me. Okay, then what, then what? I think this is a really cool thing to have. Oh, uh, oh, oh, do you? Oh, you think it's cool? Really? You think it's a really cool thing to have because you think you're a genius? Oh, oh, oh my god. Mm, women don't owe men sex. Women don't owe men anything. It's not a full seven million of that album before you did that, which is what happened. You didn't know who I was before that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Left this part out, did you, Kimmy? What this footage shows us is that Kanye did not tell Taylor the full story. The whole conversation just basically ends with her being like, you know what, you're gonna do what you're gonna do. Like, yeah, I think, I think, like, do, do whatever. Please send me the song when, when it's done, when it's finished. He never did that. But she approved certain lines like, I took credit for your fame and, and that Taylor might owe me sex. But... Kanye West then turned around and wrote a song where he said, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why I made that be famous. That, that was the entire point of Taylor Swift's argument of why she was upset. She didn't know that Kanye was gonna go calling her that witch with a B. You know what I'm saying? It, it's been crazy. That video will be up very, very soon. So Monday, Taylor Swift finally posted on her Insta story. I really didn't think we were gonna hear from her. I really did not. But here is the Insta story that she posted. She said, instead of answering those who are asking how I feel about the video footage that leaked, proving that I was telling the truth the whole time about that call, you know, the one that was illegally recorded, that somebody edited, manipulated in order to frame me and put me, my family and fans through hell for four years, swipe up to see what really matters. The World Health Organization and Feeding America are some of the organizations I've been donating to. If you have the ability, please join me in donating during this crisis. And she led links to Feeding America. That was her response. I kind of screamed. I did not think that she was going to respond because when she starts it off by saying, instead of answering those questions, let me like roundabout way answer that question, which I love. That is a very sneaky Taylor Swift way to show revenge is a dish best served cold. That had to have felt vindicating to have that footage leak all over the weekend during this quarantine when we're all home and we're all glued to our phones. And then it happened. It happened. A few hours ago when this happened, I screamed very, very loudly. Let's just go over the tweets, shall we? At 8.57 p.m. on March 23rd, Kim Kardashian started tweeting. She tagged Taylor Swift. She had the audacity to tag her and she said, at Taylor Swift has chosen to reignite an old exchange that at this point in time feels very self-serving given the suffering millions of real victims are facing right now. I didn't feel the need to comment a few days ago and I'm actually really embarrassed and mortified to be doing it right now. But because she continues to speak on it, I feel I'm left without a choice but to respond because she is actually lying. So she doesn't feel the need to comment, but let, let me just tell you that she goes on for nine full tweets about this, but you know, she's too embarrassed and mortified that she didn't realize like, oh, it's not a big deal, it's just nine tweets worth. To be clear, the only issue I ever had around the situation was that Taylor lied through her publicist who stated that Quote, Kanye was never called to ask for permission. End quote. They clearly spoke, so I let you all see that. Nobody ever denied the word which was used without her permission. At the time when they spoke, the song had not been fully written yet, but as everyone can see in the video, she manipulated the truth of their actual conversation in her statement when her team said she, quote, 
declined and cautioned him about releasing a song with such a strong misogynistic message. The lie was never about the word witch, it was always whether there was a call or not and the tone of the conversation. I never edited the footage, another lie. We'll come back to that later. I only posted a few clips on Snapchat to make my point. Oh, okay. You didn't, you didn't edit it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. You didn't edit the footage, but you only posted the clips to prove your point. Totally. That's not editing at all. You're right, girl. You right. Wow. I only posted a few clips on Snapchat to make my point and the full video that recently leaked doesn't change the narrative. To add, Kanye as an artist has every right to document his musical journey and process, just like she recently did through a documentary. Here is the class of law school she went to. Oh my God, I can't even believe this is happening. Kanye has documented the making of all of his albums for his personal archive, however, has never released any of it for public consumption and the call between the two of them would have remained private or would have been gone in the trash had she not lied and forced me to defend him. That does not matter, Kim. You still recorded the phone call without her consent. That is called wiretapping. That is illegal in the state of California where both of you were the time of the conversation. So I'm not a lawyer or anything, but yeah. Or it would have gone in the trash had she not lied and forced me to defend him. <laughs> Playing the victim? She, she forced me to defend him. She forced me to go to a 25 minute long piece of footage and she forced me to release four minutes of it. She forced me. You did this, Taylor. You forced me to do this. This will be the last time I speak on this because honestly, nobody cares. Well, clearly not you. I mean, you tweeted about it for nine tweets, but you don't care. Yeah. Sorry to bore you with all this. I know you are dealing with more serious and important matters. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even believe that these are real things. I can't even believe it. I honestly thought we were past this. Like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I would just like to point out that for the past, I believe, weekend, Kim Kardashian is over party has been trending. That's been trending. And um, here's what's the best part of all of this. I mean, there's no best part, guys. I'm joking. Like, you have to know that I'm joking when I say best part. There's no winners here. There are no winners here. This all sucks. To really just nail this point home. After I saw these tweets, I was texting my friend Katie Krause and I was like, oh my God, can you believe that this happened? Like, do you think we're gonna get a response? No, probably not. We're probably not gonna get a response. And then, Tree. Tree Pain came in swinging. In case you didn't know, Tree Pain is Taylor Swift's publicist. Here is what she said two hours after Kim Kardashian's tweet storm that she doesn't care about for nine tweets. I'm Taylor's publicist, and this is my, all caps, unedited original statement. By the way, when you take parts out, that's editing. <laughs> P.S. Who did you guys piss off to leak that video crying laughing emoji? Oh my God, I can't explain to you the noise that came out of my mouth when I first saw this. I wish that the camera was on. This is shocking, this is unheard of. I have never ever, ever seen Tree talk like this before and it makes me so freaking happy to see. Let me read that full unedited statement that Tree posted all those years ago. Kanye did not call for approval, but to ask Taylor to release his single, Famous, on her Twitter account. She declined and cautioned him about releasing a song with such a strong misogynistic message. Taylor was never made aware of the actual lyric, I made that witch famous. Are, are we getting tripped up on like grammar on this? Yes, in Tree's statement she says, Kanye did not call for approval. Do you see the comma but? But to ask Taylor, she acknowledged that the phone call had happened. She acknowledged it. I, I don't understand. Oh my God, Tree, I just. <sighs> Guys, really quickly to recap, let me read you Taylor's original statement on this. Where is the video of Kanye telling me he was going to call me that witch in his song? It doesn't exist because it never happened. You don't get to control someone's emotional response to being called that witch in front of the entire world. Of course I wanted to like the song. I wanted to believe Kanye when he told me that I would love the song. I wanted us to have a friendly relationship. He promised to play the song for me, but he never did. While I wanted to be supportive of Kanye on the phone call, you cannot approve a song you haven't 
heard. Being falsely painted as a liar when I was never given the full story or played any part of the song is character assassination. I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative, one that I've never asked to be a part of since 2009. I'm just, I'm just going over these tweets over and over again and like, I think Kim is as delusional as her husband Kanye. This is, this is just, you didn't even like see what she was really mad about. She, she's totally sidestepped the part where she said, the lie was never about the word which, it was always whether there was a call or not and the tone of the conversation. No, it wasn't. Like, no, it wasn't. There's literally documented proof that Taylor literally had her publicist sent out that said Kanye didn't call for approval. He called to ask for her to release it on Twitter. He called to ask. That That's in there. I, I, I love that you just love to edit things, right? Like, that's just what you like to do. I am just so bad, like, all of this, you guys, all of this. I'm actually really embarrassed and mortified to be doing so right now. That line kills me. This kills me. You are a mother, Kim. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? I'm so angry. At this point, I think the story is developing. I, there's probably going to be more. There's no way Kim's not going to respond to a publicist. There's gonna be more. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep you up to date. I cannot believe that this is happening, but oh, that PS that you added in there, Tree. I bet you Taylor and Tree are sitting there right now, just like, I hope that they're sitting there laughing at all of this and not actually taking this seriously because there is evidence, there's proof. There's proof leaked from Kanye's team. Who who leaked this footage? Can I can I applaud you? Can I give you a hug? Can I send you some cookies? Oh my god, I cannot believe this. Maybe the guy who filmed is a Swifty. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh my god, you guys, this is insane! Let me know what you think about all of this. I have to know your thoughts. You've gotta tell me down below. And I guess only time will tell. This is wild, but. I'm dying to see what you guys are all seeing. There's there's no backing away from this. There's no, like, I don't understand. I, I understand that Kim Kardashian comes with fans, but there is no way that they can discredit video footage. Video, audio footage. Listen to it. I did. It's ridiculous. She's uncomfortable. This is, I'm getting worked up. Guys, this is insane. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. I'm dead. I'm shook. Make sure you're following me on social media because I'm probably gonna be talking about this a lot on Twitter and Instagram, so just keep up with me there. Pun not intended with that, but whatever. If you enjoyed this video at all, if you found it funny, enlightening, I don't know what you wanna call it, leave it a like. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And I'm gonna go see you in my next video. Holy crap, this is insane, this is insane. Stay inside, wash your hands, this is insane. Ooh.